Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Play Zero Escape, the known area games 999. Today, we're in the incinerator. Will begin in we're in Junpei Vision. 18 minutes. Whoa. Please evacuate the incinerator immediately. Yeah, I'd like to. Uh, holy shit. Man, I knew what it was going to say, but that is one hell of a creepy voice. I really? Knew it. Uh, it's starting. Santa started the incinerator. Fuck! Man, I never thought I'd hear that damn voice again after nine years. That's gotta be traumatic, right? What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> what in God's name are you talking about? It's nine years this and nine years that, and when it's not nine years something, then you're talking about some sort of fucking experiment. From nine, nine years ago. Any sense? Uh... Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lotus, but we really don't have time to explain it right now. Oh, we don't. We don't have time for like a thirty-minute flashback. I promise. I'll tell you everything once we get out of here. Maybe. But incineration will begin in seventeen minutes. Oh, good job, Lotus. You wasted a minute. You know what that means, right? Incinerate means burn. Yes. <laughs> uh, what kind of idiot do you think I am? I know what incinerate means. <laughs> well, God damn it. Okay, okay, fine. I won't ask anything else. Talk about whatever you want. Uh, how about we just try to find a way out of here? You have to do something for me. Seven, figure this out. What? Why me? Just shut up and stop this thing. Yeah. How the hell? There has to be some sort of emergency shut off button. I mean, that would be the smart thing. But who knows if they actually have that? There isn't anything like that. Okay, apparently there isn't anything like that. How the hell do you know? Because I looked for it nine years ago. Yeah, Lotus isn't happy about that. Can't really blame her. Wait. The floor. It's moving. Okay. What a janky looking computer setup. What else can I say about it but... What the hell is that? I think it would have been more appropriate if she was like, What the hell is that? Uh, what else could I say? The floor opened and a machine rose up out of it. It looked like a computer. At least, it kind of did. There was a monitor, a keyboard, and a cross-shaped device of some kind, like every computer. Something about the machine scared me, but I forced myself to walk up to it. I was terrified. Tears poured down my face. I wiped them off, even the, even as more even as more took their place, and forced myself forward. Finally, I reached it. I looked at the screen. It was blank. No, it wasn't. It had my reflection in it. All I saw was my own frightened face staring back at me from the glass, drenched in tears. All I can see on the screen is a reflection of my own face, drenched in sweat. I'm looking kind of freaked out, understandably. I know I'm sweating like crazy, but seeing it kind of drives it home. Okay, Junpei, just calm down, all right? Everything's going to be okay. We don't know that yet. Gah! Man, I wish that thing could just shut up. Incineration will begin in 15 minutes. We have wasted three minutes. All right, back to this thing. If it's only showing up now, then it's got to be important. But what the hell am I supposed to do with it? I don't know, try turning it on. Huh. Hey, move! Yeah, hacker lady's gonna check it out. Gah! Hey, we're all tense, lady. That doesn't mean you get to shove people around. Okay, it's turned on. There's nothing on the screen, though. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. If there's nothing on here, how are we supposed to do anything with it? Are those supposed to be, like, the home insert and print keys down the that center part? Like, next to what would be the numpad? Sure, I'll just push buttons. I'm sure that will... Huh, well, at least it's on now. What's on the screen, though? What is this? It looks like a bunch of numbers and letters. What's up? It looks like some sort of puzzle. Oh, shit. A puzzle? In this game? It's like got a bunch of numbers and letters scattered across 5x5 five five grid. The numbers range from 1 to 8. Do you think that if we solve this puzzle, the incinerator will stop? Yeah. Well, we can help, right? You want to be really messed up? <laughs> If you if you set it so that if you solve the puzzle, the fires start. 
And all you really had to do was wait like 18 minutes. All right, puzzle. How do you work? Ah oh, man, that goddamn voice again. Incineration will begin in 13 minutes. We have wasted five minutes. Shit, 13 minutes. Can we really do this? I mean, probably. Generally speaking, it doesn't take me that long to solve a puzzle. Well, there were a couple that took a while. My heart feels like it's gonna pop. My heart is was pounding like it was about to explode. I stared at the puzzle on the screen. I was sure I had to solve it somehow, but I had no idea how. My connection to Jumpy had been gone for a while. His mind was gone. I couldn't get any more information from him. I felt the seconds tick by as I stared at the screen, completely lost. My cheeks felt hot as tears poured down my face. Then I heard a voice. Hey, what are you doing? It was muffled. I turned around. I pressed against the window. Pressed against the window of the entry door was a face, a frighteningly evil, frighteningly evil face, with bloodshot eyes. It was Hongo. How long had he been watching me? Oh, don't know what to do. He was yelling, but his voice was still muffled. It's simple, really. But I suppose I might as well tell you. Just solve the puzzle on that machine. Holy shit. You don't say. <laughs> Do we get to stab him after this? I feel like we should be able to stab him after this. His laughter was muffled by the door, but it still tore at my heart like the claws of a vicious monster. I bit my lip and glared at Hongo, struggling to hold back hot tears. You're a terrible person! I hate you! That seems about right. Oh my. How could you call a gentleman such as myself a terrible person? We should Nothing really nice. burn him to death after we stab I'm him. Quite fair. I don't use tricks or play dirty. Didn't you kidnap a bunch of kids? Isn't that under one of those? You see? I've even left you a way out. <gasps> a way out? Didn't you hear me? All you have to do is solve that puzzle. Do that. And you can stop the incinerator. What's the point of stopping it? You'll only capture me and make me do this all again. I'm not going to listen to you. If you're just going to throw me back in here, I might as well just die now. My goodness, haven't you listened to anything I've said? No. I told you, I'm a fair man. Which is just not true. Huh? If you solve the puzzle, the verification function of the red will in turn activate. If this experiment is to deliver valid results, there must be a chance of success. If you succeed, you will escape. The verification function of the red? Then I remembered. Before Hongo left the room, he had scanned two bracelets into the red. Ah, so you do remember. Right now there are two numbers in the red. The first is one, and the second is three. Say, Akane, what's your number? I looked down at my left hand. The face on my bracelet showed a five. Uh, one plus three plus eight is equals nine. I ran to the door with the nine on it. I grabbed the red and put my hand against the scanner panel. Nothing. Okay, so that's what he means by activate. You really aren't one for listening, are you? I hear Hongo's muffled voice from across the room. I've already told you, didn't I? Once you solve the puzzle, the verification function of the red will activate. In other words, if you haven't solved the puzzle, you can't enter your number. What kind of, kind of fool are you? Why Sorry, are you I didn't mean to press a button there. Because he's a sick man. You could never understand. You don't know what it's like to spend every day surrounded by monkeys. Yes, I do. <laughs> now start the experiment. Solve the puzzle. I can't. I don't know how. Of course you don't. Isn't that the point? You understand, don't you? Access the morphogenetic field and find the solution. I can't. Then you'll die. You'll burn alive. <laughs> it's gonna be quite hot in there in a few minutes. Seriously, stabby stab stab stab. We can light the knife on fire before we do it. I imagine it will be very painful. <laughs> Actually, from what I hear, it's only painful like a hot well, second, and then all your nerves burn off. Still a horrible way to go, though. His horrible laugh echoed across the room, and even after his face disappeared from the window, I could hear it. Incineration will begin in 
If I am timed on this, I'm gonna be upset. I was crying. Great gulping sobs broken by hiccups that shook my body. I was terrified. I could feel my fear pressing down on me like a tremendous weight. Somehow, I forced my shaking legs to carry me back to the device. I stared at the monitor. I can't. I just can't. There's no... There's no way. I can't figure this out. Use the force, Sakane. What was I going to do? I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't even know where to start. Fear scattered my thoughts. Fear leads to the dark side of Kane. And all I could think of was how I was going to die. My palms were sweating. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Knees weak, arm spaghetti. <laughs> There's vomit on my sweater already. Mom spaghetti. And my blood was boiling in my veins. It was hot. So hot. I couldn't breathe. I felt dizzy. My heart roared in my chest as it was as it would pound itself to, to pieces. I thought I was going to say escape the Orthokani's face for a second. I reached into my pocket. I wrapped my hands around the thing I'd come back to get. That was really dumb to do, to be quite honest. The doll jumpy had given me. At least I had that. Yes. At least you had that. I held it tight with both hands and prayed. Help me. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Jumpy. Not that one. Help me. Help me. Help me. Jumpy. Jumpy. My name is Junpei. Jumpy. Please. Help me. Jumpy. Akane? Akane? No. Who the hell is Akane? That is June. Shut up. Just shut the hell up. Yeah. Why are we being so rude? <laughs> Seven and Lotus don't understand. I think Clover and Snake have, have an idea, though. Clover's looking at me. And I think Snake may have figured it out. No, it doesn't matter. They're in my way. They're all in my way. Where'd she go? Maybe over here? Akane. Akane. Can you hear me? Akane, say something! Dots? Fuck! Did something break our connection? I swear I just heard her. Shit! Akane, answer me! Akane! Jumpy? I spun around. I heard a voice. His voice. I looked around. He wasn't in the room, of course. But I'd heard it so clearly. Like he was right there! Jumpy! I screamed as loud as I could. Akane! Jumpy! Okay, do we have to keep doing the flickering? That's actually starting to hurt my eyes. That's her! She's there! Oh my fucking god. Then that means... Stop Akane. it! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I get it! But stop it! Akane! Uh, are you in the incinerator right now? Oh, yes, you fucking asshole. How? How did you know? Psychic. I couldn't believe that he knew that. I'm going... I'm going to look away from the monitor in five seconds. Now understand what Santa meant. Right. There's only one way to help her. You were brought here to help my sister. To save Akane. Okay. I think I get it now. At least one of us does. Incineration will begin in... Oh. Seven minutes. We wasted 11 minutes! Jumpy, we don't have time! As quickly as I could, I told him that I had to solve the puzzle in order to stop the incinerator. Got it. Oh. And I do. I get everything now. At least I finally understand what all this means. I know why the No Nair Games was held today. I know why we were kidnapped and brought here. It was all for this moment. All this was planned out to lead to this one moment. Oh my god. This is... This is insane. You're right. I... I can't believe it. But there's only one possible answer. June is... Zero. I guess technically he didn't really know that, huh? Akane Kurashiki. She recreated the history of the future that she had a glimpse of nine years ago. 
She tried to save herself that way nine years ago. No, she's trying to save herself right now. <sighs> that means that there's only one thing for me to do. Is, is, is it try to figure out how time lines work in this goddamn game? Even if this is all some sort of insane plan, I will save her. I will save Akane Kurashiki. I must save her, no matter what. I mean, she's already been saved. Clearly, she grew up into a, an adult woman and then kidnapped us. But I guess technically that wasn't set in stone because if we went on the other path, she dies? Though I guess... Wait, hold up. Time out. Okay. So in the other path, not the one she gets stabbed in. The one where she dies of like a fever. <laughs> or by axe. One or the other. Uh, yes. So. She laid on the ground. She was like, oh, Jumpy. Uh, here's the same dialogue I said to you when I was stabbed. And then she disappeared. But then Zero started talking. So if June is Zero... Did she... Did she really do a death monologue and then when fucking Junpei turned his back, she got up, sprinted out of the room, got on a fucking voiceover, was like, I have lost. And then did she die or did she just wander off? You can't have it both ways. You can't have a death monologue and then be the person on the intercom. Was it pre-recorded? If that's the case, how were they responding to Junpei? That's kind of why I thought Santa was zero. Was it Santa on the intercom? Because he disappeared. Why'd he disappear? I need that axe. Incineration will begin in... Six we are wasting all the minutes. The voice reminded me of how much time I have left. Yuppie! Yeah, I know. Just hang on, all right? I promise I'll get you. Like out seriously, of that blinking effect is hurting my eyes. I'm not gonna let you die. I promise. So don't worry, all right? Just give me a few minutes. Yeah, okay? give me six minutes. Okay. <sighs> my voice shook as I answered. It was hot in the room. It felt like my heart was on fire. Six minutes or not, my heart burned with my feelings for him. <laughs> A nine-year-old me was deeply in love with future Junpei. All right, time to get to work, Junpei. Is Snake talking to them about something? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Get out of my way. Hey, what are you... Just trust me, okay? Did we shove her? Sorry, Lotus, I didn't mean to snap, but there's a lot more at stake here than your pride. I'll apologize later, all right? Uh, now, let's have a look at this thing. We've got numbers all over this grid. I think the panels are out of order. So I just need to switch these out? Staring at it doesn't isn't going to accomplish anything. I'll just have to try it. God, just think of what I did all those times before. Forced my way through by guessing? I'm gonna do this on my own, with my own mind. I'm gonna mm. solve this problem. <laughs> Escape or seek a way out, whatever. Am I am I am I timed? Oh good, I'm a hint. The fuck? That's a hint? When I pressed hint, numbers appeared in the empty spots on the grid. They're all single digit. I get the feeling the numbers change when I switch out the yellow squares. But the square at the bottom, why does it stay blank when I press hit? Hint. The one over, you can't see me pointing at it. Like the one down here? Probably because it's not in use, dog, so we can't switch that one out. What is the pattern here? What is the pattern here? Uh. No, we can we only do the, the, the okay. We can only do the yellow ones. Pressing the button again makes the numbers disappear. Looks like I can turn them on and off. Then it ha there is some special meaning to there being two modes. What could it mean? 
When I flip the hint off and on, all the empty slots look like the one on the bottom. Does that mean they're all supposed to match? Maybe I need to make all those numbers in the square the same. If I switch out the yellow squares, the numbers that show up in the hint change too. I don't know how I know that because I hadn't done it yet. It looks like the numbers are affected by the adjacent squares. For example, when I switch out three and five, the hint number increases by two. What? I bet the hint just adds the surrounding numbers. Uh, what? Okay, hold up. Reset. So we get five here. And they go down to two. You said it went up by two. And then it goes up by seven. You lied to me, game! Okay, it goes up to two there. The hint displays what the adjacent yellow squares add up to. So most mo most of the answers should be two digits. But each square only has a single digit. Yeah, hexadecimal. They must be calculated in a different way. Dots. Digital roots? If they're digital roots, then they'll add up as one digit. Oh. Add the numbers. But there are, number there are letters here too. Wait, haven't I used letters as numbers before? Yeah. Maybe I need to replace the letters with numbers. I think I got the gist of the puzzle up top. I just need to make all the digital roots the same. But what number? Switching out yellow squares affect all the hint squares around it. Wait! But one square doesn't get a hint number. What? The ninth spot at the bottom. What? Everything has a hint number. Only this one stays blank. What the f... Are you talking about the one on the bottom row? Maybe a fixed number goes inside. So the ninth square has a different rule. Can we even select it? I couldn't select it before. If I only knew what number goes there... I can't... I can't get over there. What are you talking about? No more hints? Okay. So we need to do what? So six... No, there's no six there. There's no six there. There's no six there. So you want... The adjacent adds up to this, right? Digital root. So 10... 28... And that's one. I'm changing so much it's getting messy. I haven't touched shit! Maybe I should reset. I'll set everything back to its original state. Oh, wait a second. When everything is in its original spot, something lines up at the bottom, uh, something lines up in the bottom squares. It looks kind of like it should be a word. The Down here? I'm getting too confused. I should reset. A clean state should clear my mind. Maybe I can figure out the answers easier that way. I need to find the password. I'm getting too confused. I should reset. What are you fucking talking about, game? I haven't changed anything. What? In the world do you mean? I'm getting- Shut up! I'm bringing up the things! So is this the word down here? The game actually has confused me more with that- with the hint there. If it wasn't constantly like, hey, 
I should reset. I'd probably be fine. Maybe? Probably not, to be quite honest. But now that it only says I'm getting I'm getting too confused, it's getting messy, I should reset. Even when I haven't changed anything, uh, it's a little bit of a kerfuffle. I think the, the proper word is for that. So it said the yellow squares are the digital root of the adjacent squares. But that doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. Because the digital root of 6 and 4 is not 5. So, it would be 1. Do I put a 1 up here? Is that what you're saying? Okay, but now it doesn't add up to the adjacent things. It's a, It would be 2. Is that what... Like, this would be a 4. We don't have a 4. The adjacent squares don't equal 8 here. They equal freaking 1. Right? 15, 17, 19, 10, 1. Yes. This definitely doesn't equal 1. Unless... Oh, oh, oh. Unless... Unless they meant the adjacent squares are the digital root of the yellow that and the ones that touch it right so like one plus uh, s would be nine okay but that doesn't make any goddamn sense to me Kind of wish. <laughs> I kind of wish. The hints just kind of started repeating themselves so I could go through that shit again. But instead, I'm now kind of like stuck here. I think. I... And you said it looked like a word? Nothing down here looks like a word. I mean, yeah, if this was a W and this was an R, it would say word. Do you want that? Is it fucking password? I'm going to choke slam every fucking person in this game. Was it blinking a bunch of nines? Do I put a nine? Oh, my fucking lord. Is that your final answer? I guess it is! Yes, that's it. Akane, did you get it? Yes, I did. I solved it. I mean, really, you solved it for me, but I copied everything you did. You're welcome. Now I just have to Little cheater. Enter. Then what the hell are you waiting for? Push it! To the limits. Okay, I will. I hit the enter key. Dots, dots. Emergency shutdown command has been confirmed. Incineration system has been disabled. Neat. Tears rolled down my face as I cried out to him, but they were a very different sort of tears. A wonderful feeling of accomplishment and relief flooded my body. At the same time, what strength I had left disappeared and I collapsed to the floor. 
For a while, I just lay there, laughing and crying, and enjoying being alive. Every time I thought about him, I thought my heart would burst. I am pretty special, you're right. Whew. I can't quite believe I did that, but I'm so glad, so glad. I feel, I feel like my heart's on fire, and I feel like Kronos is mad at the hints that were given to him in that last puzzle. No, I don't have time to be thinking about that kind of shit. You didn't hit enter yet? I need to tell Akane. Akane, sorry, but things are kind of busy over here. I'm gonna have to hang up now, okay? This isn't a phone. Oh, of course, that's fine. I wiped the tears from my eyes and nodded vigorously, even though I knew he couldn't see me. Then I looked over at the corner of the floor. There was two bracelets Hongo had left behind. Now. Well, Seven and Lotus don't look particularly happy with me. Not a very nice look to give someone who just saved your lives, guys. Junpei, are you... Insane? Yes! In the membrane! Okay. Ah, shut it. Right, okay, so maybe they have a reason to be pissed off. They didn't sound pissed off. We were just kind of rude to them for no goddamn reason. So what if I haven't pressed the enter key yet? You're a goddamn idiot, Junpei. All right, nothing holding me back now. Here goes. Wait. Incineration will begin in 90 seconds. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> it doesn't sound like it's stopping. No, it doesn't. Uh, what the shit? Why isn't it stopping? Okay, maybe I didn't hit the key hard enough. Just hit it again. And again. And again. Okay, that's not working either. The alarm's still going off. What the hell's going on? I've got all the right numbers in the right boxes. It's perfect. So why the fuck isn't this thing stopping? Incineration will begin in 60 seconds. Wait, of course! That's what the numbers that, that showed up after the puzzle means. Oh, the... You get, it's the digital root for the, the red. 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8. Snake, Clover, Me, 7, and Lotus. Then, door 9. No, that's it. The number on the door isn't 9. It's not even a number. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that... Holy shit. Of course. Then we just have to put the right numbers into the red end. Incineration will begin in 30 seconds. Good thing we didn't try that to begin Run, with. Run, guys! Get to the door! Run! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Don't have much time! Man, I sure hope they can trust me on this one or we are all fucks! Alright, no time to explain. Just go! Look, verify your numbers on the red! Verify? Who? You! What all of you! All of us! We all need to verify! Why? Just do it! This is a good time to ask questions. Just do it! Hurry, 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 hurry. Incineration will begin in 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Central gate has been opened. Yay! Incineration system has been disabled. Good thing that's a function, right? I wouldn't want to open the door when there's a bunch of fire in there. Oh, thank fucking Christ. No, no time to be happy. Time to go. Hurry! We've only got nine seconds before the door closes. Go, go, go! Come on, guys. Move it. Okay, they're all through. Move it, Junpei. Door just closes. Just in time. Is that the bomb? And there goes the door. No, don't come yet. You're not done yet. You still gotta find the dead. Wow. You guys suck. You put a... Did you actually put a bomb in me? That's rude. We're totally not dating June now that you put a bomb in me. Thought maybe that might have been a lie when we found out you were zero. But no. Shit. Looks like we made it, huh? <laughs> Man, that guy sure can laugh when he wants to. Or, you know, when he 
finally escapes from an incinerator and avoiding death, dickhead. Looks like Clover and Lotus are totally out of energy. Snake is shaking his head wearily. I just want to take a nap, but... Akane? Akane! Can you hear me? Akane! I want to tell her we made it. I want to tell her how good I feel. But nothing. The door opened. Standing in front of me was my brother. Akane! Oi! I cried his name, even though my voice was almost gone from screaming, and leapt into his arms. Seven doesn't remember oh, any of this shit. <gasps> Akane! Neither the snake, apparently. I buried my head, uh, my face in his chest and cried again. I cried and cried and cried. The steady thump of his heart in my ears made me feel like I was home. A beat was almost like a lullaby. I wrapped my arms around him as far as I could and held him as tight as I could. It says, uh, just to be there, I felt like a miracle. I hadn't felt the warmth of another human body in what seemed like an eternity. In 18 minutes, not even. I just wanted to stay there in his arms forever. But I couldn't. The moment I passed through the door, my bracelet had begun to count down to death. I leapt away from it and looked around. The door had already closed. I spotted the dead only a short distance away. It took me only a moment to get to and scan all the bracelets I had. I left the ones Hungo had dropped on the scanner panel. That's nice of you. That was it. Uh -huh. I took a deep breath and looked around again. The huge detective who we call Seven in nine years and Snake, the blind boy, were looking at me. They seem to have been utterly stunned by my sudden appearance. Their eyes were wide and their mouths hung open. All right, let's get out of here. If we don't book it, we might run into Hongo again. I hope he was right. It was time we got moving. The mention of Hongo's name seemed to jar Seven and Snake out of their surprise, and they nodded. We took off running up the spiral stairs to freedom. Time for more running. But if they can get out of here, no wonder we're running so hard. My heart's beating so hard I can barely hear. God, I can't wait to breathe real air again. Huh, is Seven talking? Hey, Junpei, can I ask you something? No. What's up? That door. The one with the nine on it. Why did it open? Yeah, all five of us verified our numbers on the red. Two plus four plus five plus seven plus eight is twenty-six. That makes our digital root eight. It shouldn't have opened. <laughs> That's not like you, Lotus. I thought you would have figured it out already. Yeah, I'm gonna say in the most condescending goddamn way possible. Huh? Why? Because you were the person who taught me about the idea of bases. Bases? Yeah. What are the two numbers in base two? Zero and one. How about base ten? That goes from zero to nine, right? And how about base sixteen? Zero through F. After nine, it starts at A and goes from there. Bs. You're right. In other words, A in base sixteen is ten in base ten. B is eleven, C is twelve, D is thirteen, and so on. So what about it? You don't get it? What if we keep going with that pattern? What if you go way past base 16 all the way to base 27? Base 27? Yeah. Well, the numerical digits are the same. So, I guess you'd add alphabetical digits. E is 14. I don't, I don't know why 18. they're explaining this. <laughs> H is 7. It's obvious! I is 18. <laughs> I is 20. We've been through this multiple times in the game, even though I keep miscounting. M is 23. O is 24. He is 25. Yeah, and? What comes after that? Uh, hmm. uh, oh. Q. Yeah. 26. And what does that mean? That wasn't a 9 on the door. It was a Q. A fucking lowercase Q. Yep, that's pretty much it. I guess to put it another way, you could say that it was a 9 in base 10, but a Q in base 27. Time for more running. God, my thighs are killing me. I'm starting to chafe. I swear, I'm, any moment now, I'm gonna tear a muscle. I feel like every single cell in my body is dying for air. Damn, every breath I take is a chore now. I feel like my lungs are gonna burst. Maybe just a short rest? No, can't stop. Don't have time. Come on, legs. There can't be any many more of these steps left. Let's run. Run like a bullet down a rifled barrel. 
rifled barrel? Like a rifle barrel? Not... You know what? That's fine. Like a tornado cutting through a sea of clouds. I feel like we're gonna run along the back. I feel like we're running along the back of a giant coral coiled dragon. Finally. <laughs> Should I pant in the mic? No. Okay. Jesus, I can barely breathe. No, Drupe, no time for rest. Pull yourself together. You're almost there. All right, I'm gonna open it. Yeah. Yes, we're finally here. Please do. Sure, you look like a big heavy door, but you're the only thing standing between me and my freedom. But even more important than that, you're the only thing standing between me and Akane. You're gonna open, and you're gonna open now. I felt a hand on my shoulder. It was I always. He gave it a small reassuring squeeze. I was so happy I felt like I could melt. My heart was at peace. And not only because my brother and I were back together again, thanks to the huge detective, all nine of us had been kidnapped. All nine of us who had been kidnapped uh, were able to finally escape from the gigantic. On the distant horizon, we could see the faint outline of the ship as it sunk. What ship were we on then? I thought we were on that gigantic. Did they freaking Did bring it up? I feel like when a ship this size sinks, doesn't it just like break in half from the pressure and shit like that? It gave a thunderous roar as it finally slipped beneath the waves. Its last cry echoed across the ocean and then it was gone. It's over. I always whispered. Yeah. I shouted. It was over. It was finally over. Or was it? Was it really? No, that was wrong. That wasn't at all. I was sure of it. This wasn't the end. It was only the beginning. This was only a prologue to what would happen in nine years. By your own actions. You're the one that caused nine years to happen. Don't get me wrong. I'm all up for revenge schemes. You going after Hungo and shit like that? Good stuff. What the hell, though? <laughs> Why is Lotus here? You're just mean. You're just mean. Yeah, I don't know, get the timelines correct, but still. You could have just shot Hungo. You survived. Yes, finally here. Gah. Damn, that sun is bright. You can barely see anything. Huh, I gotta admit, this doesn't look quite right. Or quite like. Wait. No way. You have got to be shitting me. What? It can't be. This is... Are we in... We're in a desert. Oh. We're in Nevada. Building in the Nevada desert? Yes. The mock experiment building. Oh my god. This whole time, we were in building Q. Sure enough, that's a desert out there, with mountains all around it. Hello there, son. Boy, am I ever glad to see you. I don't think I've ever been so happy to see a sunrise. This does not look like a sunrise. This looks like an afternoon sun. Huh. Did I just hear something fall? Right, our bracelets. Guess I never really get a good look at the underside of one of these. Let's see what it's inside you. Just a little electronic chip. Like an ATM card. That's it. There's nothing else. Nothing that even looks like a detonator. Oh. There was no, there was never a detonator to begin with. Okay. Except for the ninth guy. And I'm assuming Ace. Figures. Okay. Guess I must be pretty crazy about the girl if I think I'm hearing her voice in the wind. Is she gonna be standing behind us? I pressed the button. Okay, we're fading the black? You're not ending there, right? 
You son of a bitch! Where's... Where's Ace? Did they kill him? I wanted to be there for that. Where's Santa? Where the hell's Alice? Is she just not gonna be a thing? You go through the entire game bringing up freaking a frozen woman and she's just not there? I guess she was on the Gigantic, wasn't she? All right, I mean, I, so she's at the bottom of the ocean. That sucks. What if she was still alive in that? I mean, that'd probably not be possible. Where, where is Akane and June? They just left? Did they just leave? You can do that? You just leave? You're not, not, you're not gonna be like, Jumpy, I love you, thank you for saving my life nine years ago? Even though I kidnapped you and threatened you and, you know, in like multiple timelines get you stabbed and or axed? What is that? Morphogenic field voice? What? What the hell is that jumpy? <laughs> Did Akane beat him up? There's gotta be more after the credits. Yeah? Okay. Are you okay? No. No, I'm not. Oh, come on. Uh, this is nothing. Really? Yeah. You don't look okay. It was just before the end of elementary school. Jumpy and I were sitting next to each other on a small hill, looking down the hill at the sun slowly setting. How does it look, then? He was half serious and half joking. I thought about it for a minute first. Let's see. It looks like you kissed a toad and got warts, but then they just kept growing and growing and growing. Actually, it looked like you got your fucking ass kicked, dog. <laughs> what does that even mean? Jimmy grinned and he lost a tooth too. <laughs> Jesus Christ! See, I told you. You're That's not cheap okay. dental work, dog. You're too reckless. You can't beat five eighth graders, Jumpy. That's crazy. Yeah, but I couldn't just stand there. I mean, don't you think so? I had to do something. Get a bat! Look at the Nevada Desert Go Pass. For an SUV, this thing has a pretty smooth ride. Sure was nice of someone to leave it for us outside the building, keys in the ignition and gas in the tank. Almost like it was a present, you know? Anyway, we jumped in and now we're here, screaming across the desert. Lotus is over there in the passenger seat. Snake and Seven and I are all squeezed in the back seat here. Still can't believe we let her drive. Oh God! This is so good. <laughs> this is so awesome. Driving is so great when there's nothing around and there's no speed limit. We're all gonna die. Hey, uh, Clover, watch those bumps, all right? This car jumps even a little, and I think I'm gonna get crushed to death. Hey, shut it! I can't help if I'm big, all right? Suck it up. Why don't you drive, Seven? I'm a cop. I ain't gonna break the law. What? He doesn't have an international license. Oh. Yeah, but you could have sat in the passenger seat. Oh, hell no. There's no way I'm giving this seat up. That's about right. <clears throat> and Clover, there's no need to slow down. The car Santa and June are in should be somewhere down this road ahead of us. Yeah, I saw some fresh tire tracks going out. There's no doubt about it. Then we've got to hurry if we want to catch them, don't we? They just left? Shit. They actually just left. Oh shit. Where's Ace? Did we leave him in the desert? That sounds about right. God damn it, she doesn't have to drive so fast. Man, I didn't even think a car like this could go this fast. We sh we're sure throwing up a lot of dust. It was a couple hours after we run into the junior high students. They've been hiding in the bushes on the back of one of the hills, drench, uh, drenching a kidding, kidding and gasoline. Jesus Christ! Then when we saw what they were doing, Jumpy ran up with them furious. Hey, hey, what the hell are you doing? Then he jumped on them. Good, good job, Junpei. Next time, get a knife, though. He quickly scooped up the kitten and tossed it to me. I caught it and ran for the police station as fast as I could. Help me! Officer, please! You have to come with me! The policeman and I headed back to the hill. 
All we found was Jumpy sprawled on the ground with a face covered in big swelling lumps. You couldn't run away after you threw the kitty to me? I asked him. He stuck his tongue out like through the hole in his mouth where a tooth had fallen out. Yeah, I, I guess I could have. Yeah, you probably could have. You should have. Maybe carry a knife on you. But I don't why know. Why didn't you? I didn't want to. I wanted to beat him up. Beat him up real good. I have a feeling that didn't happen, Jupe. Because of what they were doing to the kitty. Fair enough. Yeah, that too, but I think they were the ones behind those murders our first semester. Remember? Oh, you mean the bunnies. What a bunch of assholes. Yeah, the bunnies. He plucked some grass from the ground and tossed it into the wind. They asked me what elementary school I was from, so I told them. And then they said they'd do the same thing to you that they did to the rabbits. I couldn't forgive them for that, so I... So we're gonna go back and tell the cops that, right? Or go to their houses when they're sleeping and light the fire? Kronos, don't worry about hey, it. Hey, uh, there's still some stuff I don't get. Yeah? Yeah, you don't say. Of course, they probably don't know any more than I do. Like Ace. Well, I guess I should say Guitaro Hongo. Why did he create the Nonary Project? Because he's a sick fuck? Anybody? Any ideas? Why don't you ask him yourself? Well, yeah, I guess I could. He's still in the trunk, I assume? Why didn't we just leave him in the desert, like buried up to his neck? Yeah, he is. Still tied up, I'm assuming, with his mouth taped shut. His eyes just looked empty. No emotion. He looks like he's just given up. I wonder if he even cares what happens to him anymore. Hey, were you listening to us? Yeah, go ahead and try to pretend you weren't, you old bastard. Let's get that tape off your mouth. Come on, I know you were. Answer me. He could at least look at me when you talk. Uh, when you talk, man. I only wanted to see the faces. Human faces. I thought... I thought if I could gain the ability to access the morphic field set, then perhaps I... could see faces. Kick him out of the trunk. Open the back and just boot him out! By peering into people's minds, you could understand how they were processing the expressions of others. That's it? Yes. If you want to put it simply. But if you are looking for a more philosophical answer, I can supply that as well. I doubt it. You see, the human collective consciousness... I think that's enough out of you, pal. Time for the tape to go back on. Cover his ah, nose, too. So what's your second question? You said there were some things you didn't get, didn't you? Well, somebody's a little nosy. Well, my next question doesn't really have anything to do with you two. This is for you, Seven. It's about the whole Alice thing. Yeah, what the fuck was that about? What's the deal with that? Well, see, nine years ago, after I escaped from the Gigantic, I kept going after Hongo on my own, hoping I'd catch him when he finally slipped up. And during the course of my investigations, I learned a lot more about the Gigantic. And I also found out about Gordain and Alice. You're not really answering my question. Yeah, you just, like... Just nothing. You just give me nothing Was here. There actually, a girl who wouldn't melt at room temperature. <laughs> Sounds like Congo has something to say. All right, fine. I'll let you talk, but you gotta behave. What? Uh, Alice doesn't exist. Nine years ago, I found Alice's coffin behind the library on the bottom deck. There was nothing in it, but the root of a peculiar plant. My research determined that it was a member of the genus Madrigora, of the family Solanaceae. Okay. I was able to extract a particular alkaloid from it. I used that extract to create Soparin. Its creation was a tremendous boon to my firm, and we grew rapidly. Shit, this is gonna be on, go on forever. Tape's going back on, Hongo. The rest of my questions can wait a bit. For now, I think I can just enjoy the ride. Here, uh, this is for you. What's this? This is, uh, for you, doll. Uh, his name is Junpei. Jumpy pulled something out of his pocket and shoved out his arm towards me. In his hand was a doll made of yarn, small enough to fit in my pa his palm. Jumpy, are you sure it's, uh, for you, doll? Huh? Uh, yeah, the, the lady at the shop said so, so th that means it's for you, right? Are you sure it's not a voodoo doll? It's a voodoo doll. 
Dots. Dots. Wait, what? That, that's... Oh, man. Oh, man. You gave her a voodoo doll? <laughs> well, it sure looks like a voodoo doll. I mean, you do know what a voodoo doll is used for, right? Yeah, I, I guess calling it Junpei isn't a very good idea, then. Why are you giving me this, anyway? It just seems really sudden. Uh, well, um, y you know how after June, um, we aren't gonna get to see each other too much? I mean, we're gonna be in different schools, and I just thought I'd, uh, you know, um... You guys live close together or anything like that? Oh, okay, well, how about we call it June, then? Uh, I get it. Okay. So, uh, I wanted to give you this. <laughs> you sound like some sort of tribal chief in a bad movie. <laughs> uh, yes. I, head of tribe. This doll, traditional charm of tribe. <laughs> so I give this. It me. Okay, we don't have to get fucking offensive here. So we always <laughs> together. Oh, Jumpy. If something bad, then hold and pray. Or stab with needle. I go wherever you are. So here, take. I reached my hand out and picked up the doll gently. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Jumpy. Just remember you have this when you're kidnapped and on a ship, so you have to run all the way back to where you can get kidnapped and thrown into an incinerator. Before I knew it, I was crying. Tears streamed down my face and fell into June's tiny yarn body. Jumpy, I'll never forget you. In fact, I'll kidnap you in nine years. I promise. Jumpy looked straight into my eyes and said just five words. I'll never forget you either. The sky was a beautiful crimson red as it melted down towards the horizon. The last golden rays of sunlight stretched out across the city and painted themselves across the hill. We sat bathed in the warm light of evening, just the two of us, le leaning gently against one another, shoulder to shoulder. The sun set and we still didn't leave. We watched it in silence as the darkness deepened and one by one the lights of the town began to flicker on. You couldn't call each other. You guys clearly walked home together from school. Like, you, you lived near each other, so you you just, after June, you just didn't see each other for nine years? Wow, it must be destiny. There's still one thing I don't get. Just one. To be honest, it's the biggest mystery so far, as far as I'm concerned, and also the only one that really that's really important. It has to do with June and Akane. Uh, nine years ago, she died in the incinerator on the Gigantic, but she's still alive now, as June. But how? Was it because I tapped into the morph morphic field set and saved her nine years ago? Huh. Alright, let's say that makes some kind of insane sense. No, it doesn't. And if I did that, then... How did I... How do I make sense of what Seven remembers? Snake makes sense. He's blind. He couldn't have seen her body anyway. But Seven? He said he was sure he saw it. Does that mean there's some kind of historical discrepancy? Or wait, maybe that's not it at all. There is one other logical explanation. Oh, I love to hear this. Was what you told me the truth, Seven? You look satisfied. No, no way. He couldn't. Hey, look! Over what, there. was he in on it? There's somebody next to the road. Was Seven in on it? Kick Seven out of the car, too! What? Oh, fuck off! <laughs> Is that Alice? The burning gaze of the Nevada sun poured down de what the fuck on her head. The desert around her rippled with heat. Standing there on top of that shimmering plane was a woman, her arm out and her thumb up. It would not be long before Jupai realized who she was. End. Yeah, sure, that... End. Let's end there. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> we done? Don't forget your towel. Sure. Don't forget the towel. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll save over here. All right.
Well, that's it. We're done. We're going to be jumping right into the next game. Um, it's uh, Virtue's Last Reward, I think it's called. That's also, that was, you know, the Patreon series sort of poll was voted for the No Nary Games. And that's two games. So we'll just be jumping into the second one, well, next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, the series, or me, press the like button below if you're not subscribed yet. Why do you have my video second? Check out some of the content and see if you're liking. Once again, thank you for watching. We all have a great day.